Hey y'all, this episode of Tebak Show is brought to you by Tractor Beverage. Tractor Beverage has a whole variety of some of the most tasty drinks that are perfect for all sorts of food pairings. For example, I really liked lemonade and strawberry dragon fruit, and I feel like you can't go wrong with delicious options like mango, limeade, or farmer's punch. Now, before I blabber on about, you know, I don't know, the cherry cream flavor and all the natural ingredients in it, check out organicimpacttracker.com. It's really great to finally see a company doing this, keeping synthetic pesticides out of the soil, supporting organic farming, and reducing carbon emissions. Call me a fan. Wait, is this a real haunted house or like a Halloween haunted house? The pizza is the best. Right. No questions asked. Usher, <laughs> Usher. Hi guys, I'm a Usher. <laughs> like. It's the Tabak Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Tabak Show. I'm your host Eric Nam, and today I have a wonderful human next to me yes. joining us on the show. You probably know him from a lot of things, and uh, I'm just excited to catch up with a friend. Without further ado, please welcome the incredibly handsome, talented, tall person, <laughs> <laughs> Johnny of NCT. Hello. Yes, hello. Hi everybody. I am that. A uh, handsome and tall Johnny. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. It's, I'm finally glad to be here. Dude, I'm so glad. We, we talked about it for yeah. a while, but I'm finally here. Here we are. Yes. In in a new setup. This is not our usual setup. So uh, I'm sad you don't get to see our usual setup. But no, that's, it's you know, fine. I love it. It's all good. Um, well, I'm glad that we're finally able to do this. How have you been? Uh, I've been very good. Uh, we do… It's been uh, slower. So yeah. we do have some time to ourselves. Or I do at least. And uh, I've been just trying to take that time to be as productive on myself, I guess. Okay. What, is, what, is, what does that look like? What are, you, what are you working on? If you don't mind me asking. I mean… We did start uh, working on the 127 album. Ooh. We started really recently. So okay. it's going to take a while guys. But uh -huh. it's coming. And you know, it's just a lot of me time, a lot of uh, working out, getting healthy, mm. uh, trying to uh, make my own kind of music, trying to figure it out, stuff like that. Got it. Anything you're leaning? What's inspiring you musically these days? Musically, you know, I've been uh, really, I've been working on. Uh, Getting my DJ skills back. Your DJ skills. I didn't know you DJed. I mean it, it was just a hobby. Uh -huh. But then I was like why not… Uh, bring it out to the world. And I've been just trying to improve on that. Okay. Yeah. Would you… Okay. I have this like weird… Like… Not a fantasy. But every, every once in a while I'd be like… I want to be in a DJ group. Really? Yeah. Like a DJ group? Like the chain smokers, but not the ah. chain. You know what I mean? Like a DJ duo trio, and I get to wear a panda helmet, and I, I like, I'm faceless. I'm just dancing on stage and I just sing. And nobody know it'd be you. I mean, maybe, but like, think about it. Like, Marsh, it, it's like kind of anonymous. It's mm. like marshmallow, but not marshmallow. Uh huh. I, I thought about that too. And, and then what, what did you come to conclude? <laughs> Realistically, <laughs> I was like, hmm. But it's good to use my name. Yeah. So people do know it's me. Yeah. And like I can… I, I don't have to start… You're not starting like, at zero. Yeah. Yeah. That Realistically, that would be my answer to that. But would you… Okay. Would you realistically ever do that? If I wanted to DJ… Yeah. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. But I didn't want people to know. Uh huh. That would be something that okay. would be a possibility. Okay. Yeah. All right. But maybe there's a DJ future DJ Johnny career. Yes. That we could, you know. Maybe you we could look all forward look forward to, maybe, to. Yeah. You know? Diplo, Chain Smokers, Calvin Harris, and Johnny. <laughs> maybe wearing one day, one day. Maybe wearing a panda. I mean, helmet. dream big. Dream big. Yes. Really, truly, truly. Um, okay. Well, before we get too far into other things, uh, I actually really like doing one on one conversations because uh -huh. we get to talk about like your past and your history. Mm. Because a lot of people know who you are, obviously. Hopefully. I think a lot of people okay. do. But not a lot of people 
like a lot of people have questions about like, how did you get here? What blah 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 mm. blah blah blah. Which to some people, you're diehard fans, they may know, but people who are watching Ted Box Show, they may be new to you in in that aspect. So okay. going back to your past, to your history. To my history. You are from Chicago. Yes. Born and raised? Born and raised. And when did you move to Korea? Uh I I, you could say it's a long story, but long story short, yeah. it was uh, around middle school, seventh grade. I auditioned, and I went back and forth for a long time. And after high school was the real time I started living in Korea, mm. getting ready uh, to become who I am today. So wait, every like every summer, did you go to Korea? Pretty yes. much. Yes. So you had like a trainee break. contract or something? Not yet. Oh, the contract came later, but uh, before then it was. Almost like a summer camp. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So, and I was young. And I really enjoyed like this new lifestyle, learning things mm. that are were out of my like my safe zone. Yeah. I guess. And yeah, yeah, that yeah. was what really like brought me into this industry. I would say. Do you remember what song you sang for your audition? It was a church song. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't remember. It was like I think it was called Tuzan or something. Toes. But like I was really… I was going to church a lot back uh-huh. then. And that was the only time I really did any singing. Uh-huh. So I think I was… That's the reason I chose that song. Nice. Yeah. I told Ten and Yang Yang when they were on my show recently… Yeah. That I auditioned for SM. Really? And this is like one of the most embarrassing stories. And they're probably going to cut this out. But I'm just telling you so okay. you know. That I auditioned after church one day. Uh, on a Sunday in uh-huh. Atlanta, in the suburbs of Atlanta, and they, I sang Hui songs, and then oh. they played like the Black Eyed Peas, like Boom Boom Pow. It was like dance, and I was like, Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for me, it was Sexy Back. Oh, Sexy Back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what they, did you do I, I when remember, they played Sexy Back? They, I, that part of the part of the audition, I was like, Yo, I just wanna, I wanna model. That's what mm. it was. I, I didn't know how to sing. I didn't know how to dance. So my mom was like, go in and just say you want to model. Because yeah. on the audition sheet, yeah. it was like… If you want to audition for a model, you just had to have three poses. Oh. What were your poses? I don't remember. <laughs> but, but like that that was like… The easiest uh-huh. audition for me. Yeah. So I, I was like… I did that and they were like, come back. And then I was dancing to Sexy Back. Nice. I just did some steps. It's so awkward because awkward. especially the beginning of that song is just like dun, 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 dun. I'm bringing. Dun, dun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's just. Um, but your parents were they always supportive of you doing this? Uh, I would say once it started, yes. Mm. My mom. I, I always told my parents or my, like my parents. I was like, I want to become an actor, uh. actor, actor. Second grade, that was like my dream. Really? Yep. And uh, little by little, like, I never put any effort into it though, Mm-mm-mm. which was a problem. But I was young. I just, I was like, I want to do that on TV. Yeah. But they knew what I wanted. And uh, I think that's the reason why my mom was part of the Korean bo- broadcasting station back then. Oh. So she knew the audition was happening and she was like, Got it. You want to go? And I think that was the first time in my life where I made a decision for myself. That's super cool. At first, I was like, No, like, what? A Korean audition, like, <laughs> but I took the chance mm. and uh, I'm here today. What what a wild ride! Yeah. When you say you wanted to be an actor, what do you remember? Like certain movies or things that you saw as a kid, or actors that like inspired you? Oh, <sighs> honestly, I mean, I was always a fan of mu- uh, movies. Uh-huh. Uh, I was I watched like. I forgot what, what it was called. It was a Mel Gibson one. Die Hard. No, not no, Die no, Hard. No, no. Um, what's that called? Uh, Braveheart? Braveheart. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I watched that a hundred times. That wasn't like the moment I wanted to be an actor. Yeah. It was more of like TV stuff. Like uh-huh. I think it was called… What was before WB? No, no. Not WB. Uh, um, it was Channel Nine on my thing. It used to be. Know. It's now CW. It used to be or, WB, right? Something, and it had like, what shows did WB like, have? It uh, had like, soup. Uh, it was a Superman one. Supergirl. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it was Superman one. He was Superman, but uh-huh. like, it wasn't called Clark Superman. Kent. Yeah, 
Or something like that. But yeah. But it was like those shows that were like… Fun to me. Because yeah. I was little. Like it yeah, was like yeah, the yeah. fantasy stuff. And uh, I was like… One day… I want to be… On that show. On that or like show. on okay. that… On the TV. That's really embarrassing for me to say. Why right is now. that embarrassing? I don't know. It's like a little kid's dream. Yeah. That's yeah. so like… Relatable. I don't think it's embarrassing. Well, thank you. you thank know? you for… Uh... We all had that. <laughs> I… My… What did I… I wanted to be a Power Ranger so bad. Really? Yeah, man. Or like an X-Men. Oh, X-Men would have You been, know? Yeah. I remember when I was a kid and I watched it. I was like, I'm going to get superpowers. Uh, and then I would just like sit there and like stare at a teddy bear. Like, move. I would try to move. turn off the lights it, for like five minutes. <laughs> just, just staring at it. <laughs> just staring at the switch? Yeah. yeah. And… Like when you're little, like I remember the time where I would walk home from school and I thought I was controlling the wind. You probably were. Yeah, I probably <laughs> was. Now thinking about it. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Yanni and I had dinner last night. Yes, we had we very did. spirited conversations about life. Yeah, it was a lot of talk. <laughs> and you know, I like to go off on rants. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I don't get to uh, do that often. So thank you for that opportunity. No, it's yes. no, thank you. I have a lot of uh, things on my chest. We had a lot. <laughs> I laughed a lot, really loudly and I'm very glad. hard. Um, let's see. You, okay, going back to like training, you uh-huh. trained for eight and a half years. Is that is that the exact time? That is what is on here. I think 8. so. 5 I think it, I did practice for a long time. I think it's because also uh, I told you it, I started as like middle schooler. Oh, so including like the summer yeah. stuff. Okay. Yeah. So when did you? So after you moved to Korea, how long did you train? Train? <sighs> I would say like five years then. Oh wow, that's yeah. still long. It's still long. That's like, were you ever? Was there ever a moment you're like, I can't do? this? Of course. Like, like I, I literally, were. I was looking up colleges. Mm. And yeah. then you were just… How it happened? Uh, I had this moment where I, I really wanted to just go back. I saw my friends once. Mm. Like it was just like… They gave me time off to go mm. back. And I, I saw my friends and I saw how… How they were concerned about different things in me. Mm. And I was like… That's the kind of things I want to be concerned about. Mm -hmm. Like how to be an adult. Yeah. Not am I going to debut or not. Mm. Because I've been thinking about that for too long. I was kind of getting sick of it. So I started looking up colleges. Like what would I want to be if I wasn't this. Mm. But I had… Thankfully I had people who were like just give it one more try. Yeah. And uh, I listened. Because you know… You don't really think about it. But once in a while like… I feel like people have this need to be needed. Mm. And I felt that for the first time. And I was like… There are people who really want me here. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I've been doing something wrong the whole time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I put my trust not only in myself… But in someone else for the first time. And I think… That was a big moment. Yeah. I learned something. Yeah. I mean that's that's massive. I mean I think it's… We do all have that yearning to be needed or wanted. You don't know that though. It's It, it takes time to like come to that realization. Yeah. Um, but it is… Because like we're all social people. Uh-huh. Like and so… Yeah. It's like having friends but in a work way. I guess. Um, it's, it's, it's very… It's hard to… Explain what that is. Like friends mm-hmm. and work. Mm-hmm. Like you guys are working together but you guys are friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah it's… I mean like you work with family. I do. So I mean you probably know all about it. There's a… Yeah. It's a complicated thing. Yeah. But it's… It, in the end it's a good thing. But I mean you have… Just in terms of members… So many members. A lot of members. A yes. lot of members. Yes. That need you. That want you there as well. So… Yes. There we go. Hopefully they… Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do. Um, when we were talking last night about how when you speak in Korean and when you speak in English, uh-huh. I feel the same way. Our personalities kind of change. Oh, totally change. Um, how do you feel like you're different in Korean and English? Between Korean and English, I think it's the point in time where I learned Korean, mm. and uh, I learned. I started learning Korean like, like when I started going to Korea, which yeah. was in middle school. So everybody was older than me. Uh, we had trainees 
that were uh, like born in 87. Okay. 88. Uh-huh. So they were all youngs, older guys. And uh, so when I speak in Korean, I'd have to say I get younger. Or like… Uh-huh. Magne vibes. Because that's just how you naturally were yeah. taught to speak. Which is yeah. kind of good for uh, K-pop. Because I can do the cute things. Like, no, <laughs> like it's not that hard. Show us a cute thing. Uh, mm. <laughs> yeah. That's hor- That's Good. I'm, I'm speaking English. Yeah, right yeah, now, so yeah, yeah. No, that was still good. Yeah. I haven't seen this in a very long yeah. time. I, I just… Spontane- it just spontaneity. Yeah. It's in your blood now. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Random questions. Okay. Uh, fun facts. You sleep surrounded by many dolls on your bed. Oh, that was a time. There was a time. <laughs> there was a time? There was a time. Not anymore, but… What, what was it? It was like comfort animals? Just… What, what was the deal? You just love dolls for I mean, we… Uh, I like cute things. Okay. I still do, but I don't have them in my bed anymore. Mm. But it was when… Uh, like I first debuted and like we received a lot of dolls. Yeah, fans give a lot yeah, of gifts. So yeah. that's when it started. I usually had one or two and mm-hmm. then that just became like 10, 15. Wow. And I'm a big guy. Yeah. And the bed wasn't that big back then. Yeah. So uh I was very cozy. Got it. Yeah. Got it, got it. You also says you're not good at rock, paper, scissors. I'm horrible. All right, let's do it. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, best out two out of three. Rock paper scissors shoot. What? You're. I maybe I'm no, even no, worse. Yeah. Clearly, I'm. You're not that I'm bad. really bad though, because we have nine members. Yeah, and every time the nine of us do like do it to like see who's buying or stuff like yeah. that, I always lose. So you're always buying. I think it's a, it's because like of the mindset though. Like I'm okay to lose. It's okay to lose. You're a giving person. Yeah, you're a kind That's what giving I've been soul. Thinking. You know, yeah. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Chicago style pizza. Let's talk about this. Real okay, quick. Chicago style pizza. To be honest, it's like a lot of cheese. No, no, but like people think of like deep dish, uh-huh. but it's not just the deep dish. Okay, what's like it about? Just the pizza in general is really good. Okay, but what makes that pizza really good? To me, it's like so much cheese. I mean, you're talking about deep dish, though. right? So, but is there a different style of Chicago pizza that's no, not it's deep just dish pizza? Oh, well, like just really good tasting pizza. It's just that the deep dish has some… Like people… If you look at it… Uh-huh. It has something special to it. So people remember it. And that's why people think deep dish pizza, Chicago. Yeah. But it's not only that. Just like pizza in general in Chicago is just really good. Okay. So you're just saying Chicago pizza is dope. The best. Period. Not specifically deep dish. Just all the pizza All Chicago. the pizza. Like I understand if you don't like deep dish. Because… As you said, there's a lot of… It's not just like… It's a… Like one piece is a meal. It's a lasagna. Yeah. It's and massive. That's, that might not be for everybody. Yeah. But the pizza is the best. Right. No questions asked. Better than New York? Yeah. Better than Italy? Yeah. Oh, Wow, these are just some fighting words. I can't… I don't know about Italy. <laughs> I've never tried their pizza. But like… <laughs> I don't want to go there. You don't want to. Oh, no, you don't want to. Like, I don't want to. You want to go to Italy. You don't want to get into that conversation. Yeah, yeah. That's... Yes. To 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 clarify. <laughs> <laughs> to clarify. <laughs> oh, that made, that could have been bad. Thank you. Thank you. I know. You, Look, I got you. your back. <laughs> you have a lot of hobbies, uh-huh. right? You're working on yourself recently. You said yeah. as well. Um, but you shot a short film. Is this true? Called Freaky Handshake. <laughs> Freaky handshake. Tell us about freaky handshake. Freaky handshake. What is this? It was uh, it was for my YouTube. Uh-huh. It's called Johnny's Communication Center. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, what can we do? That's funny. And I was like, I was really into cameras. Mm-hmm. And then once you get into cameras, I think you start thinking about like filming stuff too. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I want to try filming a fun video. Yeah. And who would be the best co-star? Uh, I couldn't think of a better member than Mark. Mm-hmm. And so us too, we thought of an idea. It was It's basically Freaky Friday, but with me and Mark. You know? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm not seeing this. 
Don't. I will… Wa- Everybody, let's let's go watch it's, Freaky Magic. It's the worst. Wait, when did you make this? It was a few years back. But oh, okay. Like, I don't know. We had fun… Re- we had fun filming it. Because yeah. it was just… Like… Us being stupid. Um, let's see. We also know you are, are massive in, in fashion. Oh, I love fashion. You, we've, you know… What is inspiring you these days fashion-wise? Fashion-wise… I mean I'm always going through… Uh, what is popular nowadays. I always, mm. I always make sure to know. Mm-hmm. I'm really into just white shirts and unique pants nowadays. Mm. Like… I don't know why but… Pants, pantalones… See? Is what See? really intrigues me. Like there's so many styles of pants. There are. And I want to give points to the pants and not like the upper side nowadays. I don't know Got why, it. but like that's so what just I'm like doing. minimal up top, minimal up top, crazy party on, on the, bottom. the bottom. Yeah, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's yes. a vibe. It's a vibe. Um, do you have like? Would you, given the opportunity, like, would you want to work with a fashion brand to like, or like build your own fashion brand, or like model, or like, because you did audition as a model. I did. I you did. Know? Uh, I would say. <laughs> Fashion would be will be a part of me mm. throughout whatever I do, mm. my whole career. But making a brand, mm. uh, if I ever got an opportunity to have a collaboration, yes. Uh-huh. But making a brand, I, you have to go back to reality and just. I've seen people work on a brand, and it's, it's not lot. easy. It's a lot of work. A lot of. Do you have a brand? No. Okay. No, no, no. And we like, have Dive Studios merch. Okay, okay. We have Dive Studios that's hoodies. That's good. That's and that's as far as we go. Yeah. And it's just a lot of work that goes down. It's not yeah. just designing too. Yeah. Like marketing and everything. Even if you get a guy. like It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff. Um, but you were at the Met Gala last year. Yes, sir. How was that? I'm so like… Every year I feel like we see photos of the Met Gala. And uh-huh. it's always the craziest thing. Uh-huh. What was that experience for you last year? Well, I was lucky enough to go with a a designer called Peter Doe. Yeah. And I think the Met is all about working with the designer. Mm. And what can come out… Like the result of it. Mm -hmm. And I still love to this day what I wore. It was Mm. just… I believe there's a concept every year. Yeah. Uh, last year's was like about… I'm not going to say the exact word. It's fine. But like, it was like American culture. I oh, got it. Americana or something. Wait, you what was it? it? Gilded, Gilded glamour. glamour. Gilded glamour. But it was like… I had a really nice suit on. But we gave it a little twist. We we got me shirtless a bit. Ooh. We We got the long coat. Ooh. So… We made something that could be very normal, very special, Got and it. that's what I loved about it. It was just black as well, and yeah. just, I, and like I got my hair done really well, <laughs> my makeup done really well. Nothing, nothing beats like when you put on an outfit and you get glammed up, and you're like, I actually feel really good. Yeah, because there are days no, when but you're suits like, do that. Yeah, but yeah. there are days when you do it, and you're like, I don't feel it. Or like I don't look. I have those days where I'm like, I look not good today. Yeah. It's, but then when it when it works, you're like, I feel powerful. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure our fans, if you look up on CT, you'll know those days. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, we, I think I have the opportunity. It's uh-huh. definitely an opportunity to try on something that I would never think of trying on. Mm-hmm. And now we we stuck with it for a few years, and now it's like. If we don't wear something like that, mm. it's like I'm not wearing enough. Mm. It's not enough right now. Mm. Mm. And you get used to it, and then it becomes a part of you. Mm. And something, and that in itself has its own merits. I think. Yeah, yeah. But we have had very crazy outfits, <laughs> like very. <laughs> What's your craziest outfit that you've worn? <clears throat> it would probably be in the era of a uh, cherry bomb. Oh yeah, yeah. We had. Uh, Pink camo. I think with, I remember that. Yeah. With like… I had this <laughs> vest kind of thing. And uh, it was empty. Uh-huh. And like… But like… So if it was empty… Like it would fly all over the place. So <laughs> what we had to do was… We, we had to put in weight. But then we couldn't put in weight… Because I'd be dancing. 
And it's uh-huh. a very tough song to dance yeah. to. So we had… They put in socks. Oh. And, like, and so it looked like I had a pretty big belly. And like… <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was pretty crazy. And like the pants would rip all the time. That choreo is hard. Well, all your choreo is hard. I think uh, we… NCT has a pride in our performance. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a really wonderful chance to work with Tony Testa. Mm. They did… Uh, we did work with Tony Testa for Fire, fire Truck. Yeah. But then like… For me, it was my first time working with him through Cherry Bomb. Mm-hmm. And… From the beginning… We worked on it together. Mm. And like… Like building We would it do… We would do like… What do you call that? Like… Recreational activities together. Oh to like op- team building things? Yeah. To open up our minds. To… <laughs> Okay. Really to… Before starting. So we had an open mind to everything. And like we had ideas. And yeah. It was actually really fun. That's like a very… Well… Non-Korean way to do it. Oh. It was very different. It's very different. And I'm surprised that… You guys did it like that I I think it's also not just like… Not Korean style. It's… Him in general. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, because he has this way of thinking. Like you have words that come out in the lyrics mm. and he interprets it very differently Got through it. the choreo. And Interesting. It's pretty fun. If I mean, speaking about collaborators, is there anybody that you would love to collaborate with musically or, or in terms of choreography or art or fashion or… Anything. Collabs. Um, in any sense. In any sense. Yeah. Well… For… For music? Uh, there's this guy, DJ called Boys Noise. Boys Noise. Yeah. He's really cool. He makes okay. great sounds. I would love to work with him. Uh… Like Calvin Harris, of course. Stuff like that. Just like that DJ sound. Dude, DJ Johnny's gonna happen. We're gonna make it a thing. One day, one day. It's gonna be a thing. And I'm gonna be there front row just like… Yes. If you're not dancing, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Don't worry. You will not be disappointed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We're gonna jump into our games first. Oh. Just a few more questions okay. here. Let's see. Okay, these are these are I think I think you're gonna like these. Okay. I would like anything, honestly. <laughs> okay. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? <sighs> Time travel. Ooh. No, no, no. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh that that jumper ability. Jump just like flashing everywhere? Yeah. Why? That's so chaotic. But but you wouldn't flash everywhere all the time. Yeah, but like why would you what Because I wanna be the the time it takes for me to come all the way to LA. Oh, okay. Got it. Like you just want to be able to be anywhere at any time. Yeah. Got it. Cause you don't have to think about all the other things. There's so many things to think about when you mm. go to places and yeah. everyone's just having a hard time, like yeah. finding the right time to get the plane. When I arrive, what That's happens, true. like stuff like that. Just so teleportation. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. agree. I can I can I can rock with that. Yeah. Also, again. My ADHD. Really bad. Matt Gala, Back to this room. Okay. Quick. I'm curious. I think a lot of people are curious. What happens once you do the red carpet? You take your photos. Uh-huh. You walk in. You walk what in. What goes on? What goes on? At the Met Gala. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, this was the first time for me too. Yeah. No managers. Right. So just you. Just me. And Peter. Yeah. Okay. And, and the designer. There's a guide who… Like you don't want to get lost. So obviously there's we a guide. We don't like to get but, lost. You go into this huge hall and there's a lot of food and there's an opening act. There's music. And then it's all mingling, I guess. A lot of talking, okay. conversations going on. Just it's, hang that's out. That's pretty much it. <laughs> like you just hang out and then you find the right timing to leave. How, then, how long did you stay? 
I would say just like an hour and a half to two hours. Okay. So like yeah. brief. And yeah. then… Because like the food comes out… I wasn't eating. I wasn't that hungry. I made sure to have some champagne though because it was very tough. Nice. Yeah. I needed… It's… it's Those those mingling things yeah. are always it's so… Not easy. Yeah. Difficult. But you made you made some friends. Yes, I did. Who'd you meet? Uh, well, I met I I became friends with uh, Chloe. Yes, our you good know friend her. Chloe. And uh, I got to meet Sabrina. Sabrina Carpenter. Carpenter. Dope. She's, She's really cool. cool. And uh, across from me, there was <sighs> there were a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think yeah. Well, we have one of those tonight. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. And, but it's okay. Uh, we're at the same table. Yeah. With Thank with God. Chloe. So we're gonna have Thank we're gonna God. be fine. Yes. Um let's see. If you could go back in time and give yourself one piece of advice, what would it be? One piece of advice. Uh-huh. To your younger self, when? What would you say? Uh maybe do your own th- I th- I would say don't always follow the rules. Mm. I'm a guy who does follow rules. Mm. And maybe sometimes you could break them. Yeah. Yeah. Once in a while. Just, Every once in a while. Yeah. Nothing illegal. I'm just saying like, yeah. just like some rules you can break them. You learn from them. Yeah. The faster you break them, the faster you learn from them. Fair. Fair. That's… Hey. Very smart. Yes. Very wise. Um, what is a personal value or belief that guides your life? Uh, I mean, it's very cliche, but I would say it's the pursuit of happiness. What mm. makes me happy? Uh, what does what make kind you happy? Of, I the people around me. Mm. It's hard to be social, as I said, but once you have people around you who you can rent to, kind of <laughs> like just talk about anything with, like, there's a lot of things that go, a lot of things that go, like that are in my mind. But to be able to have an outlet is very important. Yeah. And uh, thankfully I have a lot of people who have wonderful ears. Uh-huh. And are willing to listen. Yeah. Great. What's one thing that you're looking forward to in the future? Future. In the future… I mean I'm all about performing on stage. Mm. So I can't wait till we get a tour started. Go around the world. Yeah. Travel. Uh, eat wonderful food. And uh, maybe like one day have my own kind of music as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I can always look forward to. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. What is your current… What is one thing that has really annoyed you recently? Pet peeve or like something you're just like, what the heck? What the heck? Yeah. (sighs) (laughs) Okay. This is going to be just like something that off the top of my head. Yes. You know every uh, like subscription like service like Netflix stuff yeah. like that has like a sound. Yeah. Bing. Yeah. Watcha Whatever. doesn't. Oh it doesn't? It doesn't. Watcha is a Korean… Is one of the Korean streaming yeah, yeah, networks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And every time I turn it on… Yeah. And it doesn't make a sound. It annoys me. <laughs> That's so weirdly specific. I made a sound for it by you myself. You did. Oh, please. I, watch. They should pay you for that. No, no. But like… I don't know. Those… I have a lot of things going in my mind. <laughs> like on in my mind. And yeah. It's just one of those things that always bugged me. Wow. Totally. Okay. Yeah. Fair. I have a lot of things. But like yeah. that's the first thing that came up. Like watch it please. Come on. Let's get on. Let's play the game. Really? Like honestly he made one for you. So like you should just thank him and yeah. just… You know, watch. It has to be more. Watch. Oh so more like attack. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. But it's not as good as yours. It is really good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we're running low on time. We got a lot of things to do today. So okay. we're going to play two quick games. Oh. We'll, see how, we'll see how this goes. Okay. First one is guess who I am. Oh jeez. So, I'm really bad with names. Don't do this. It's all good. You're going to listen to seven descriptions about a character and you have to guess who it is. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. First person. First clue. As a child, I had dreams of becoming a novelist. 
Oh, no, this is Mark. Oh my gosh, you got it so fast. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that is so fast. Yeah, apparently Mark wanted to be a novelist. Not, I don't know anybody else who wanted… That is like, so specific. Was, yeah. We should, I, I need to change the order of these things. Okay, this is going to be hard. All right. I'm… I'm English. But I moved to the States when I was eight. Just, just saying. Any, any idea? No? Move on? I'll give you another hint. Okay. Vogue named me as one of the leading teenage fashionistas for 2017. Oh, is it Timothy? Timothy… Uh, I don't know how to say his last name. Chal Chalamet. 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 Champagne. Timothy Champagne. It is not. Oh, sh How do you say his name? Anybody know? Chalamet. There we go. <laughs> she, she knows. Um, in 2020, Time Magazine named me as the youngest person on their list of 100 most influential people in the world. I don't, dude. I don't even know if you know this person. I'm just, I'm just telling. I'm just doing what they told me. <laughs> okay. Is that the last clip? No. We can give you more. Okay. okay. I'm writing a novel inspired by my grandmother's story of living through World War II, which will soon be published. Wow. That just made things worse. I know. This is harder. British. British. Fashionista. Moved, moved time 100. America at the age of eight. Writing a book. Writing next, a book about yeah, next one. World War II. You saw me on Netflix. I saw you on Netflix? Yeah. Netflix has a sound. We like that. Yes. <laughs> uh, I saw you. Oh, I don't know if it's. Is it a girl? It is. It's uh, Wednesday. No, no, Jenny Ortega, not Jenny Ortega. My role on Netflix is named after a number. Oh, 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 eleven. Yes. Do you know her name? I told you I'm bad with names. But it's I, yeah, me too. It's fine. I wouldn't know. Stranger either. Things. Right? Yeah, yeah, Stranger Things. Uh, it is Millie Bobby Brown. Oh yeah, yes, I do. I do know that name. Oh man, but Sh Timothy Cham Shalom Chalamet. That is hard. Thank you. Sorry, Timothy. He has a very good-looking name too. He does. Everything about that guy is yeah. just like he was just born, and then he was like, "Look, I have a nice name. I have nice hair. The people <laughs> are obsessed hair, with yeah, me." Yeah. You know. Good for him. All right, next one. Ooh, here we go. I can speak five different languages. Is it ten? <laughs> it's too easy. I need a, all right, next one. I play golf as a hobby. That's it? Yeah, that's just the first clue. Yeah. I speak Japanese fluently. Uh, is it one of our sanbin names? I don't know. <laughs> is it Changminio? Nope. No? Okay. I released my… This is too easy. I was on the same, same stage as Britney Spears. It's still too easy. Shared a stage with Britney uh, Spears. Poa Nuna? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How, are you close to Poa Sambinim at all? Or is it like… There's so many artists in that. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean… Like… I'll… I'll say hello. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Respectfully. And yes, here he's had name. And then that's okay. Last one. This is gonna mm, could be interesting. I started my music career at eleven. I appeared on the three hundredth episode of SPS Inkigayo. I am from Texas. No idea, right? Any idea? The silence is deafening. I'm sure. starting to sweat. Wait. <laughs> I debuted in high school with an album of my name. It's not you, is it? Oh no. Oh gosh. Is it you? No. <laughs> no, no, no. She's no. oh, okay. <laughs> I often wear sunglasses. Ooh. That's like… Hold on. I only have… Oh, here's… I only have one more clue for you. Oh my gosh. 
This is really bad. I feel like… It's okay. Really You're going to get it after this one. And if you don't, then it's bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one, of my, one of my most successful albums is Confessions. Usher. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> no, I, I kind of got an if like after the SBS Inkigayo. That's so random. I, I forgot that happened. No, no, but uh, I don't know if like… You guys do this, but like… Like you know, like before Korean uh, broadcasts, like you gotta like say hi, we're uh -huh. like and like like let's, to let's everybody, do a, like a, let's have a good time or something, something like yeah. that. We, my members and I, kind of thought like, you know how Usher did it too. Uh -huh. it like, maybe he did it too. Oh, it, like so, walked like, around and like one, two, three, Usher, Usher, hi, we're Usher. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Usher. Like, like yeah. Usher, Usher. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe we, think we thought about it. Yeah, like, maybe he was like being really been respectful great, though, to like, the culture. And, and <laughs> <laughs> just walked around and Usher, he Usher. Hi guys, I'm Usher. <laughs> like, that would be great. Dude, I want to go see him in Vegas. Like, Is he in Vegas? He's doing a residency and I heard it's an incredible show. <sighs> That's like my next… Next show that I have to go see. The, him and Adele. Adele? But, yeah, she's Is doing… Is she there too? Yeah. Dang. Everybody's in Vegas doing Vegasy things. Game number two is called Pick the Person. We have really creative names here. Pick the person. Yeah, pick the person. Oh, but like they're all like people things. Now, yeah, not... people things. It's fine. Okay. I mean, do you want to play another game? We, if you have a game thought… No, no, no. It. It's good. It's good. No, I'm basically like… No, I, I don't want to mess up your thing. Right no, no, no. You yeah. can mess it up. No, no. Can, it's good. You can good. play rock, paper, scissors. Right? No, no, no. Are you sure? Good. Let's play pick the person. Okay. Or pick the person, right? Yeah. Person, pick, pick the person. If I were to go back a hundred years, I would go with… Hechan or Mark? Hechan. <laughs> Why? Hechan uh, has this. He can get around. Oh yeah. He's very fast at what he like at like figuring out how to get from point A to point B. Mm. And Mark would just take forever. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really bad. Yeah. Like, explain. No. Explain. No. Uh, context. Like, context. I'm not like. Yeah. Mark just. I would say he's less fast than yeah. Just Mark takes his time. Yeah. Okay, and Hechan is very efficient. He's very thorough. Thorough and efficient. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Mark is thorough. Oh, Mark is thorough. Hechan is fast and efficient, I would say. So Hechan's like kaja and just go. Yeah. And Mark is like, let me think about this. Yeah. Like, okay. Like kind of like But like, but but what about what what about what if we're in that situation? But what? Oh, so he's an overthinker. He is. And the Hechan's more just like, let's go. Yeah. Got it. In the event of an of a zombie apocalypse, next one, please. I would want to be with Chongu or Taeyong. Taeyong. Why? That was also very fast. Uh, Chongu, I would have to. I feel like I would have to take care of him. Mm. But with Taeyong, it would be like you do this and I'll do that. Split it. Yeah. And like, let's go. Yeah. What would be your strategy in an apocalypse? A zombie apocalypse. I would say Taeyong would uh. Figure out the place to stay. Uh -huh. And like figure out uh, how to make that place safe. Uh -huh. And I would be the one to build it. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> if I were in a zombie apocalypse, maybe after like a week, I'd be like, let's just go. I'm ready to go to heaven. Eat me. Yeah. I would just I mean, imagine. Can we talk about this real quick? Okay, no, no. But the anxiety every day. I'm not doing that. But I would say if you're you could say that now. Yeah. But if you you were in the situation mm -hmm. as a human being, it's our human nature yeah. instinct to stay alive. To try to stay alive. Yes. And I feel like that would take over. You think so? Yeah. What if we're in what if we're in Unless this Unless you're like you can't run. Yeah. Like, in that situation. What like, if it's like you watch like Walking Dead or This Is Us and like we're in a building and surrounded by zombies? I mean, you gotta, you gotta still try to do something to get out. Okay, fine. All right, I'll hang out with you in the apocalypse. Yeah. I might, you may not want to hang out with me, but like, no, it's cool. It's I cool. can hang out with anybody. I'm, yeah. I'm probably just gonna be like, <laughs> bro, let's just like eat this can of whatever and just yeah. call it a day. But, all right, next one. If I have to travel around the world without money, it would be with Toyong or Tae. Oh, this one's tough. Because I feel like Toyong would uh. Figure out a way to move around without money. Mm. And Tail would just be like, why would you need money? What? <laughs> like, like it, it's kind of like a different mindset. Uh. 
So Taeyul would be all right without the money. Ah. But Toyeon would figure out a way to do everything with that small amount of money we have. Got it. Is, is or no Tae- money? Is it no money? With zero money. Gosh. Probably Toyeon then. Because he would have a plan. Yeah, he'd figure it out. Taeyul would just be like, we'll figure it out. But like, Toyeon has plans. Is Taeyul just very like, we don't like material things and like, uh, I've never. I don't think I've ever met him. Or no, I mean, maybe I did. I'm very materialistic. Uh, like honestly, yeah. Like I like buying things. That's cool. Me too. But Tail is not. Oh. Yeah. Which is very. As I told you yesterday, I'm very intrigued by people who don't think like me. Yes. Yes. He doesn't think like you. Yeah. Got it. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> if I could change, if I could like, let's see. How do we say this? If I could. Change bodies for a day with a person. Would it be Yuta or Jaehyun? I mean, they all have killer bods. <laughs> killer bods. <laughs> but uh, you know, I think it would be Yuta this time because mm. soccer was always a thing that I wanted to be good at but never could be good at. Oh. And uh, Yuta was a very good soccer player. Oh, I didn't know that. At least I've heard. Okay. He's, he tells me. Oh, so it's like <laughs> self-like proclaimed great at soccer. I, I mean. If you have that much confidence, yeah, yeah he's probably he, be like, he better be really yeah. good. All right, last one. If I were to be in a haunted house, I would want to go with Eric Nam or Sergi. This is such a random match. I would say you'd get pretty. I feel like you'd get your bro. I would attack people if I was in a haunted house. Wait, is this a real haunted house or like a Halloween haunted house? That's the question. Let's say real. I don't know what I would do. Cause you don't. I mean, like before, you were saying. You I would try to easy, rational. Right? I would rationalize with the ghost. I'd be like, guys, I told you. We talked about this. I would say, hey, ghost, I'm not here to take away your. But your, the thing is, people like you, yeah. like, you're you're thinking too much. What you want me to like just feel the ghost? No, like, like you got to figure out what to do. But I feel like you would rationalize beyond belief and just like you would. You would, your mind would eat itself. <laughs> so I would self destruct yeah. in a haunted house. Maybe. Like I'd rather have someone be too scared. And that's Sergi. You think she just like be too scared? Yeah, but like I'm a person who like if you're scared next to me, I get scared too. And then, so like we're all just gonna lose. Yeah. Even if it was all three of us, I think we just lose. Yeah, it was just, just a bad combination. A bad combination. Very toxic combination. At least we'd be able to talk. So probably you. We'd have a pretty good conversation. Yeah. Maybe we can th- talk through everything. We would we would talk to the ghosts. I don't know to the ghosts, but like I, I would. But you don't have to. You like, see, I you would see, that's be there the for part you. where I don't want, that's why I don't want to be go with you either. <laughs> like I don't want you to be like friends with the ghosts. That's like kind of creepy. Well, I mean, if we have to survive, like might as well become friends. You know? Like, is that ghost your friend though? Like No, I just trying not to die. They play tricks, yo. Yeah, but like maybe it won't hurt us. See, that's where we differ. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you close to Suki or Red Velvet at all? I mean, like I've known her ever since. Did y'all train together? Yeah. Oh wow. So okay. I know her very well. Got it. Yes. That's cool. Thank you so much for joining us. No, I had such a great time. Likewise. I love talking with you. It's because you're very. <laughs> at least you're very good at. Pretending to be intelligent. I love talking to intelligent people. <laughs> yeah, either you, either like, you are or yeah. you're really good at faking it. I'm everything is an act. <laughs> everything is everything is an act. Um, but thank you for joining us. Anything that you want to share with our viewers, our listeners, your fans around the world, any projects, anything that you want to say. I mean, uh the reason I'm here is to be at the gold gala. Yeah. Uh so and I think what it represents for the Asian American community here mm-hmm. is very important. Because growing up here, I I would say was not easy. Yeah. But now looking at what's happening around us mm-hmm. is… I wish people can understand the significance. Yeah. And uh, I hope uh, other Asian Americans… Watching, or just like any young person watching, can feel more confident about themselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, that's the reason why I'm here. Yeah, 
And uh, I hope you guys are confident. Like, yes. There's nothing to be not confident about. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I mean, it is. We are shooting this in May, which is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, which is like the month that we have to yeah. to celebrate our peoples. It should be year round, but like, like, uh, like it's significant. And I just started realizing that at mm. growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's better to realize it younger. Yeah. So it's much good. But it's better on the heart. It is. It is. So um, everybody be confident. Also, it is Mental Health Awareness Month as well. So everybody be sure to take care of your health, not only physically, but mentally. Yes. Very important. Um, but Johnny, always a pleasure seeing you. Oh, We're gonna pleasure's have, all mine. I, truly, truly thank you. <laughs> um, uh, we, we're so excited to, to finally have you on the show. And uh, just as a friend, always so happy and proud to see you do all the bajillion incredible things you do. I feel like you do more things, so. I just do things. Uh, <laughs> I do a lot of things. Very, very, uh, very modest, I'd say. No, we, we're, we're all working really hard, but um, we're going to have a good time with the gala. Yes. Everybody look out for NCT album that they're working on soon. Uh-huh. I have a new, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. I have new music coming. Really? And like, from the point of this release in a few weeks. So everybody please. And that means I'm going on tour. So I am going on tour. So, so ericsnam.com. Everywhere. You need my the, the ability that I was talking about. I would love that. Yeah. I really would. Um, but yeah. So I just need to plug that. And everybody, please be sure to subscribe, follow, like, comment on this video. Our, wherever you get your podcast and our social media, we're everywhere. We'll see you next week on the show. We have a lot of great guests coming as well. So be happy, be healthy. Love you guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, I want you to please like, subscribe, turn on your notifications and comment. So I don't have to make up these songs to make you do it. Oh my God. Thank you.